Hi, I'm Kier, the Nordic Welshman, and this is Buddy. Today I'm going to be building a bushcraft chair in lockdown base camp, and then I'm going to have a fire and a brew. So, let's get started. You can have that bit. So this is the basic blueprint of what I need to do. I'm going to be taking two A-frames and intersecting them with each other. So one forms the part that you sit on and the other forms the backrest. So hopefully I've got all my measurements right and it will be a good height for me. Now I have to cut everything to length and then I can start lashing everything together. Step by step. going to use quite a lot of this cordage. It's quite thin gauge. Buddy loves this roll of, of nylon, but he's not allowed to bite it, which makes him want to bite it even more. So starting with the clove hitch, that's a good way to start lashing rope on. Uh -uh. onto a pole, for example, like this, it's perfect. And then I'm just gonna do an overhand knot to lock it off. Then I just have to cross them together and just start with the lashing. But no, 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 no. And now come back the other way. Now I'm going to start going alternate ways. So 
So now I'm going to end this with a clove hitch. And what I like to do, if I have endings like this together, I'll just tie those two ends together and that prevents the, the clove hitch from unlocking. So for the next triangle, I think I'm going to try something a little different. This time I basically just cut angles on both sides, little notches, and then I can just do a full wrap around the top. This will be the bottom of the chair. But he's in full on play mode right now. Pretty intense. The hardest part is the beginning, getting it going.
so this is it this is what i've built today anyway probably going to make some improvements over time well that's a lot better Whew. i'm up off the floor now at least and yeah it feels quite comfortable actually i'm surprised the back part i think could do with some improvement maybe having something some material on the back would help it for some support when you lean back but i'll update and modify things over time i'm quite happy with this like if i got to a base camp or i was wild camping i built this up in a couple of hours i'd be pretty happy with that so not bad not bad at all all right so this this stuff is pretty uh pretty damp actually we had some uh rain earlier today it's pretty humid been sweating but I'm also very thirsty I would like to get a brew on so let's hope that we can get a spark from this I've got some bird shavings here also from my spoon carving video which really helped to get things moving along you see how wet it is that all that smoke that steam even get some more air up in there So the next thing I'm thinking about is changing up this shelter. It's it's okay, but you know, it protects me from the rain. But I have ambitions to make it a bit more solid, a bit bigger. I would like the roof to cover the fire so that, uh, yeah, even when it's raining, I can be down here and carve or do other things. But uh, for now, I'm happy to have a chair. We have this fence that we built in the last video. And my tea is ready. That's good. 
So today I haven't got any milk, so I'm using Crema. Should be pretty good. So that was making a bushcraft chair. I had a good time and I'm really happy I have a piece of furniture now in lockdown base camp. If you liked the video, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. That will let you know when the next one's coming. So see you in the next one. It's a nice brew.